Welcome everyone, today is all about the ins and outs of how to lose stomach fat. Now you might be wondering, why focus on stomach fat? Well, it's more than just about looking good in those skinny jeans or that swimsuit. Having less stomach fat correlates with better health, lower risk of chronic diseases, and increased longevity. It's a journey that transcends the physical, leading to a healthier and happier you. In this video, we'll be covering everything from understanding what stomach fat is, to the role of a balanced diet, the importance of regular exercise, and the impact of a healthy lifestyle. We'll also shed light on common mistakes to avoid, and the significance of persistence and patience in this journey. Each step is an integral part of the process, and understanding these can help pave the way to achieving your goal. So gear up as we delve into the first step towards a flatter stomach. Before we start shedding, let's get to know our enemy, stomach fat. Stomach fat, or belly fat as it's often called, is more than just a nuisance that makes your clothes feel tight. It's a serious matter, and it comes in two forms. The first, subcutaneous fat, is the kind you can pinch between your fingers. It's the outer layer that covers your abs. The second type, visceral fat, is more insidious. It's tucked deep within your abdomen, surrounding your organs. It's this visceral fat that is the real troublemaker. Now, why is visceral fat a problem? Well, it's linked to a wide range of health issues, from heart disease to diabetes and even some cancers. Unlike subcutaneous fat, visceral fat releases chemicals into your body that can cause inflammation and damage your organs over time. It's not just about looking good in a swimsuit, folks. This is about your overall health. So, why is stomach fat so hard to lose? It's because our bodies are designed to store fat. Our ancestors needed this fat storage to survive when food was scarce. They could burn this stored fat for energy. In today's world, food is plentiful, but our bodies still hold on to fat as if preparing for a famine that never comes. It's a survival mechanism that, unfortunately, doesn't serve us well in the modern age. Moreover, as we age, our metabolism slows down, and losing fat becomes even more challenging. Factors like stress and lack of sleep can also contribute to an increase in belly fat. And let's not forget about genetics. Some folks are just predisposed to carry excess weight in their midsection. Understanding these factors is key to developing a successful strategy for shedding stomach fat. It's not simply a matter of doing a thousand crunches a day or starving yourself. It's about a holistic approach that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and a healthy lifestyle. Now that we know what we're up against, let's move on to our first strategy. If you're finding this information useful and want to continue your journey towards a healthier you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. By subscribing, you'll get access to more insightful videos, tips, and guides just like this one. We're committed to helping you achieve your health and fitness goals, from understanding stomach fat to mastering the art of a balanced diet. So don't miss out. Join our community of health enthusiasts today. Now, let's dive into the first strategy for fighting stomach fat, a balanced diet. The first strategy in our mission to lose stomach fat is a balanced diet. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, it's not about denying yourself the foods you love or starving yourself skinny. It's about fueling your body with the right nutrients it needs to function at its best. A balanced diet is like a jigsaw puzzle, each piece representing a different food group. These are your proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Each one plays a unique role in your body, and getting the right amounts of each is crucial to maintaining optimal health and, yes, losing that stubborn stomach fat. Proteins are the building blocks of your body, helping to repair and build tissues. They also help you feel full longer, reducing the urge to snack on unhealthy foods. Lean meats, fish, eggs, nuts, and seeds are excellent sources of protein. Carbohydrates give you the energy to keep going throughout the day. But remember, not all carbs are created equal. Opt for complex carbs like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, which are digested slowly and keep your blood sugar levels stable. Fats, often vilified, are actually essential for your body. They provide energy, support cell growth, and help your body absorb nutrients. The key is to choose healthy fats like those found in avocados, fish, and nuts, while limiting saturated and trans fats. Vitamins and minerals found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains play a crucial role in various bodily functions. They boost the immune system, support normal growth and development, and help cells and organs do their jobs. Now, how does all this tie into losing stomach fat? When your body is properly nourished, it functions better, making it easier to regulate your weight. A balanced diet helps you maintain a healthy metabolism, keeps your energy levels steady, 
and prevents overeating, all of which contribute to weight loss, and more specifically, losing stomach fat. Remember, a balanced diet is the foundation of any effective weight loss plan. So start filling your plate with a variety of nutrient-rich foods, and you'll be well on your way to a flatter, healthier belly. Our next strategy focuses on physical activity, specifically exercises that target stomach fat. Let's get moving, folks. Exercise, without a doubt, plays a pivotal role in shedding those extra pounds around your midsection. It's not just about burning calories, but also about strengthening the muscles beneath that layer of fat ultimately giving your stomach a more toned appearance. Now you might be wondering, what exercises should I be doing? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer here, but let's run through a few fan favorites. First up, we have the classic crunches. These are a staple in any abdominal workout and for good reason. They target your upper abs and when done correctly, they can be a powerful tool in your fat loss arsenal. Next, we've got planks. This exercise might seem simple, but don't let that fool you. Planks work your entire core, strengthening your abs, obliques, and lower back all at once. It's like getting a three-for-one deal. Now, let's not forget about leg raises. These bad boys target your lower abs, an area often neglected in typical workouts. They're a bit more challenging, but remember, no pain, no gain. And finally, we have the bicycle crunch. This exercise combines elements of crunches and leg raises, giving you a full core workout. Plus, it's a great way to keep things interesting if you're getting bored with your routine. But remember, any exercise is better than no exercise. Whether you're walking, jogging, swimming, or dancing, as long as you're moving, you're making progress towards your goal of losing stomach fat. And that brings us to an important point. Consistency. You can't expect to see results overnight. It's about making small, sustainable changes to your lifestyle and sticking with them. If you're consistent with your exercise routine, you'll start to see changes in your body and more importantly, in how you feel. So lace up those sneakers and get moving. Every step, every crunch, every plank, they all count. And before you know it, you'll be looking in the mirror at a slimmer, healthier you. Remember, consistency is key and every effort counts. Diet and exercise are essential, but to lose stomach fat, we also need to embrace a healthy lifestyle. Let's talk about the three pillars of a healthy lifestyle. Sleep, stress management, and hydration. Each of these components plays a significant role in our overall health and our ability to lose that stubborn belly fat. Firstly, let's consider sleep. A good night's sleep is much more than just a luxury, it's a necessity. When we're well rested, our bodies function better. Metabolism improves, energy levels rise, and we're better equipped to make healthy food choices. Moreover, during sleep, our bodies work on repairing cells, including those we've taxed during exercise. So ensuring you're getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night can significantly aid your journey to lose stomach fat. Next, we have stress management. Chronic stress can lead to a host of health problems, including weight gain, particularly around the midsection. When we're stressed, our bodies produce more cortisol, a hormone that can lead to increased fat storage in the abdomen. By managing stress effectively through practices like mindfulness, yoga, or simply taking time to relax and unwind, we can help curb this effect and promote a healthier body. Finally, hydration. Water is vital for every cell in our body. It aids digestion, keeps our skin healthy, and even helps control hunger pangs. Often we mistake thirst for hunger, leading to overeating. By staying well hydrated, we can keep our bodies functioning at their best and help manage our appetite. Aim for at least eight glasses of water a day more if you're active, so there you have it. A healthy lifestyle isn't just about hitting the gym and eating right, it's about the whole package. Sleep, stress management, and hydration. Embracing these elements can make your efforts to lose stomach fat more effective and sustainable. A healthy lifestyle makes diet and exercise more effective and sustainable. While on this journey to lose stomach fat, it's crucial to avoid common pitfalls. First off, let's talk about crash diets. They may seem like a quick fix, but in reality, they're not sustainable and can be detrimental to your health. Instead of drastically cutting your calorie intake, aim for a balanced diet. Remember, it's all about quality, not just quantity. Include plenty of lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in your meals. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, let's touch on the subject of overexercising. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that more is better. However, extreme workouts can lead to injuries and burnout. Instead, Aim for a balanced exercise routine that includes both cardio and strength training. 
listen to your body and give it time to rest and recover. Another common mistake is expecting instant results. Losing stomach fat is a process and it's important to be patient. Remember, it's not about losing weight fast, it's about losing weight in a healthy and sustainable way. Don't be disheartened if progress seems slow. Every small step counts. Also, beware of the myth that specific exercises can spot reduce stomach fat. While exercises like crunches and sit-ups can strengthen your abdominal muscles, they can't specifically target stomach fat. A combination of balanced diet, regular exercise, and an overall healthy lifestyle is what truly makes the difference. Lastly, don't neglect the importance of sleep. Lack of sleep can interfere with your body's ability to lose fat and can even lead to weight gain. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night to keep your body functioning at its best. Avoid these pitfalls and you'll be well on your way to a flatter stomach. Remember, the journey to losing stomach fat is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making long-term changes that will not only help you lose stomach fat, but also improve your overall health and well-being. So, keep these points in mind, stay motivated, and you'll surely reach your goal. The last strategy in our mission to lose stomach fat is perhaps the most important, persistence and patience. It's no secret that weight loss isn't something that happens overnight. It's a slow and steady process, more of a marathon than a sprint. This is especially true when it comes to losing stomach fat. It's one of the most stubborn areas of the body when it comes to fat loss, and it can be incredibly frustrating when the results aren't immediate. But here's where persistence and patience come into play. Imagine you're on a journey, a long road trip. You wouldn't expect to reach your destination in an hour, would you? No, it takes time. You have to keep driving, keep moving forward, even when the road gets bumpy, or when you're tired and wanna give up, it's the same with losing stomach fat. You have to keep going, keep pushing, even when things get tough. You have to stay consistent with your balanced diet, your exercise routine, your healthy lifestyle. It's not enough to do these things once or twice and then give up when you don't see immediate results. And that's where patience comes in. Patience is understanding that good things take time. It's acknowledging that the journey to losing stomach fat isn't a quick one, but it's one that's absolutely worth it. It's about celebrating the small victories along the way. Maybe you lost a pound this week, or maybe you were able to resist that late night snack craving. Remember, the road to success is paved with persistence and patience. So keep going, keep pushing, stay consistent, be patient, and most importantly, believe in yourself. Believe that you can do this, that you can lose that stubborn stomach fat, because you absolutely can, as long as you stay persistent and patient. Persistence and patience are your best friends on this journey. Embrace them. As we wrap up, let's quickly revisit our journey on how to lose stomach fat. We've been on quite a ride, haven't we? We started by understanding what stomach fat is and how it's not just about appearances, but also about our health. We learned that it's not just an aesthetic issue, but a health concern that can lead to other complications if left unchecked. Next, we discussed the importance of a balanced diet. We emphasize the need to incorporate a variety of nutrients into our meals. We underline the importance of portion control and mindful eating, pointing out that it's not just about what we eat, but how we eat it. We reminded ourselves that food is not the enemy, but our ally in this journey. We then dove into the world of exercise, highlighting that it's not just about crunches or sit-ups. We discussed how a combination of cardiovascular exercises, strength training, and core exercises can help us achieve our goals. We underscored the necessity of consistency and making exercise a regular part of our lifestyle. Then we shifted our focus to a healthy lifestyle, which goes beyond just diet and exercise. We talked about the importance of good sleep, stress management, and staying hydrated. We also touched on how our mental health is just as crucial as our physical health in this journey. We also took a moment to discuss some common mistakes people often make when trying to lose stomach fat. We learned that skipping meals, over-exercising, or expecting instant results are pitfalls we should avoid. We understood that these mistakes can hinder our progress and may even harm our health. Finally, we stressed the importance of persistence and patience. We acknowledged that the journey to lose stomach fat is not a quick fix, but a long-term commitment. We reminded ourselves to celebrate every small victory and to remain patient when progress seems slow. Remember, the journey to lose stomach fat is a marathon, not a sprint. So take it one step at a time. Thanks for watching and here's to a healthier you. Before we wrap up this video, we have something exciting to share with you. 
If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about improving your health, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's a simple click, yet it opens up a world of health tips, guides, and a supportive community of health enthusiasts just like you. By subscribing, you're not only gaining access to a treasure trove of health-oriented content, but you also become part of a community that shares a common goal, to live a healthier, happier life. We consistently upload new videos, each packed with valuable information that can help you on your journey to better health. We cover a wide range of topics, from diet and exercise to mental health and lifestyle changes. So, whether you're looking for advice on how to maintain a balanced diet, the best exercises for your fitness level, or tips on how to manage stress, we've got you covered. Remember, every bit of knowledge you gain and every small change you make can have a big impact on your overall health. So, don't miss out on this opportunity to educate yourself and take control of your health. Thank you for watching, and remember, your health is your wealth. So come, join us on this journey to better health by hitting that subscribe button. We can't wait to welcome you to our community. Stay healthy, stay motivated, and remember, we are all in this together. See you in the next video. Next.